Hey there, it's Vyster again, and I'm going to show you part two of our Isle of Big Snacks gameplay. Today, we'll explore the island and and find a way to the, to our site. Let's see about the offers. What do they think of the island? All right, Snorp Dog. Wow, we made it's it amazing. We found some kind of reef cove thing to land on. Chandler, listen to me. It's very important. You need to understand that. Wait, the what's happening to the radio? Snorpy! Oh, Grump, the radio's broken. So oh, now what are we going to do without Snorpy's voice? some interference going on. Oh, how unfortunate. I suppose we will have to proceed without Snorpington's so-called supervision. But maybe we should go back and tell him? It'll only take an hour. The threshold is crossed. It cannot be uncrossed. And if you think I'm spending another minute on that plank of wood today, <laughs> you are dead wrong. Yeah, you're always right, Sheldon. And since you've kind of taken Snorpy over knows we got this. Expert. He'd want us to keep exploring. Huh. Looks like there's a way across up there. Let's check it out, bro. Hmm. Come on, Chanlo, let's go. We need to light that thing up. up. I bet Snorpy's trip shot could do it. Yeah, you're right, Chanlo. That will be so easy. Yeah, we did Nuts. it. Last one across is a rotten Nagler. Yeah. I guy first. Chanlo, you're a rotten Nagler. Wow, a buggy ball maze. <laughs> Kind of ancient maze carving with moving parts and everything. Well, whoever built it put it directly in our way. Chenlo, you excel in brute force. Destroy this. You got I... it, floof dog. We got Only it, floof dog. Again and see I what know happens. expert at me. Hold, hold on there. Let's not go smashing the priceless antiques just yet. Looks like you could fit your buggy ball down there in the entrance. I know that, I Triffy. You solve this maze. Something really Sprout likes mazes. And I know I like mazes too. Good job, Sprout. You're really getting it. What a, who's a good strappy? You are. Yeah! Yes. We did it! Works after all this Good time. job, Sprout! Oh, water damage. If that's just the door, who knows what historical goodies we'll find inside there? Let's find out. Wow! It's a new world out there! It's a jungle out there! If you oh, insist, Chano! I think that this whole valley was underwater not that long ago. I can even see evidence of civilization from who knows when. Oh, check out that impressive looking temple up there. One is more concerned with the ominous crater that lies beneath. If my eyes do not deceive me, I believe I've spotted new varieties of bug snacks as well. New bug snacks? Sick! Think they could be dangerous? There's an easy way to find out. Well, uh, before we get too ahead of ourselves, we might want to set up a base camp. A wonderful idea. One could use time to... Ah, uh, recenter. Five minutes in and you already need a nap. Leave the labor to the productive members of society, then. Oh, please don't start this again. Bros! Come check this out! You seeing what I'm seeing? It's bunger time! Excellent. Why don't you go and fetch it for us, Chanlo? Way ahead of you, dog! Oh, 
Oh dear. You better go follow and help him out. We'll stay up here and start setting up camp. <laughs> Is it just me? Or is that bunger way bigger than normal? Oh! Ooh! Ow! My muscles and my bones! Where am I? I hit some kind of statue room? Looks like she's holding a thing. I don't know what that is. But try throwing it at the big bunger. Maybe that'll do something. Whoa! It stopped being big! I bet it's small enough to catch now! Alright, bro. You got bunger, I got hunger. Now bunger me, bro! Tell the others about this! Did you all see that? Giant bug snacks! Even the bungers out here are as big as Mama Melon! Gosh, we might be witnessing a prehistoric species somehow preserved at the bottom of the ocean! Uh huh, that would align with my theory on the correlation between age and size. The lost sister of Snacktooth lies unburied. Yet you marvel at the engorgement of the toxins that dance on her grave. The lost what, now? Tell me, Chenlo, how did you come to capture this specimen? We found a jar of some kind of small dust. It came out of this old lady statue thing. A statue, eh? What did it look like? Like a big friendly grumpus lady with flowers all around her. Uh. No. That sounds like it could be a shrine to Mother Nature, eh? Whoa! Shelda, that's your thing! No, 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 no! Ah, but why would Mother Nature, no to despiser of bug snacks, be dispensing bug snack catching equipment, hmm? Shelda, your god is a hypocrite! Silence, you wretch! The Mother guides! The Mother protects! If you so doubt, then one will wield the light of truth against your blasphemy. Okay then. I guess Shelda's gonna go check out those shrines. Uh, meanwhile, I gotta go take a look at all the ruins around here. There's so much ancient history to uncover. I'm giddy just thinking about it. I am fascinated by this shrink spice and its effects on snack matter. If I can determine exactly what it's made of, I'm certain we will have much use for it. All right, bros. I know I'm not a scientist, but I got a hypothesis. If this island can make Big Bunger, can it make Big Chandlo? That's not what a hypothesis is. Honestly, what does my brother see in you? Oh, hush. I'm sure it's worth a try. Well then, let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> 